Hey everybody, Chad with nobody else's auto. Checking out another super cool barn find that my buddy Doug just found within the last couple weeks. Something totally different you don't see very often. 1971 Pontiac Trans Am 455 automatic. Not only was it an automatic, it was an automatic on the column with air. So it was like a performance Trans Am, but kind of a fancy Trans Am at the same time. So kind of a unique car. They've done the PHS on it, and that is exactly how it was equipped originally. So a pretty neat old car. Now, we don't have any footage of this thing actually coming out of the building where it's been stored for decades, but we've got some pictures. So we're going to show you those pictures right now, and then we're going to check out this super cool Trans Am. <laughs> Pontiac Trans Am out of storage in here where we can get a good look at it. Now, not only did he find this 1971 Trans Am in that building, but also another super cool car that we've got a video coming up on here after this one here in a few days, 1967 Mustang Fastback 390 GT. So you won't want to miss that one either. But this old Trans Am, the story on this car, it was painted about 40 years ago in the early 80s. And then the project stalled out in the mid 80s and that is exactly how the car has sat until my buddy just recently pulled this thing out of the storage and we have it here to check it out. So we can see the car was painted, but they never finished up the trim, the door handles, some of the small details on this thing. But the paint really looks pretty decent. Of course, this car was painted 40 years ago. It was only a tw approximately a 12 year old car at that time. So it was a good, straight, solid car to start with because at that point, this was still essentially a used car. They were just spiffing up and they had a good car to start with this problem sure this was not a rust bucket beat up car at that point when they did this obviously the iconic white with the solid blue stripe down it and according to the phs on it the car actually was equipped with a blue interior but someone changed it to tan at some point in its life i don't know for sure why they would have done that but somebody did change the interior color to tan but it is supposed to be a blue interior car we still see some traces of some of the blue trim now we can see the car does have a console in it and it still has the blue trim up there, but the seats and the side panels have all been switched to tan, including the console. Now, like we said, this was a column shift car. They added, the con they added a console and floor shifter, but if we look in here, we can still see where it actually has the shifter nub on the steering column for a column shift car. So really equipped kind of oddly for a Trans Am. Now, when they painted this car back in the mid eighties, they ordered some of the parts for it. Now, I don't think these are probably gonna be any good. We still have Newell stock Trans Am decals in here that were ordered for this car 40 years ago, all still in here, along with a lot of the other trim parts, lots of other bits and pieces still laying inside of this car. The rear flares are there, the window moldings are there, center caps. So all, it looks like everything is pretty much here for this car from when the restoration stalled out in the mid 80s. We come around the front, take a peek under the hood, hood tack, 455 under the hood, dual snorkel air cleaner. This actually had the scoop with the little actuator in there to open the flap on it. We can see right here on the core support still has the sticker denoting 455 on this one. We can see the air box and stuff on the firewall is still there. The compressor is not here, but it is here we included with the car. They took it off at some point in its life. The super cool nose on these early second gen Firebirds, great looking cars. You don't see them that often. And there again, this is all original stuff because this car was painted 40 years ago and has been in storage ever since. We can look down the sides of this car and really, even though this thing is dirty and crusty, the paint really looks pretty decent. When you look at this paint up close, and I know it's going to be hard to see on the camera, but really the paint does not look too bad on this car. But like I said, it was a great car to start with and they were just giving it a new shiny coat. So this thing has a ton of potential. The original honeycomb wheels, I mean, finding these cars anymore is getting so hard especially the early 70s, 71, iconic white blue stripe cars. You never see them, much less pulling one out of storage where it's been for 40 years. 
the stripe comes all the way down the back. We come around the back of this thing. We've got the, they did put the Trans Am back on the rear spoiler already. The smaller tail lights. And inside the trunk, we have more of the pieces for this car. There's our AC compressor, the duct work. Even the original jack is still hiding down in there. We've even got what I'm sure are probably the original sun visors out of this car. Obviously, they are the correct color, and they're in pretty decent shape considering they're 50 plus years old. But there again, this car's been in dry storage and been extremely well preserved for all of these years. So super cool car. Really excited about it. Love checking this stuff out. Unfortunately, I wasn't the lucky one to find it. My buddy Doug did, but it is a great car with a ton of potential. Iconic color combination, iconic car. Pulling one of these out of a barn after 40 years, you just don't find them that way anymore. And that's what this one is, along with the Fastback Mustang that came out of the same building. So awesome car. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. We're going to get that Mustang video up soon. You won't want to miss that one either. Super cool car. Thanks to my buddy for calling me and letting me do these videos on them to share them with you. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. We got a lot more cool stuff coming up. Thanks for watching, everybody.